The MCU is broken. And it's all thanks to Tony Stark. Remember that heroic sacrifice, the tears you shed in Endgame? Well, get ready for a shock because Robert Downey Jr., as we know, is back. But this time, he's the villain. And that's right, Iron Man is now Doctor Doom. And in this video, we're breaking down how this mind-blowing twist could change everything. We're diving headfirst into the most controversial, most desperate move in Marvel history. Is this a stroke of genius or the desperate act of a fading franchise? As fans, we're definitely losing our minds and Marvel is walking a tightrope. They're betting a lot of money on a familiar face to pull them out of a deep, dark hole. But is Downey the right choice to play Marvel's most complex villain? Well, the director said, so. Then I think we're going to need the greatest actor in the world to play that character. But after the Jonathan Mayer's fiasco, as well as his sudden departure, and the backlash against the multiverse direction, it's clear that Marvel is at a crossroad. This casting is a Hail Mary. They're bringing back the big guns, but can they create a convincing Doctor Doom out of a beloved hero? We're going to go deep on the implications for the future of the MCU, including Avengers Doomsday and Secret Wars, and the fate of the multiverse itself. So the MC journey from I am Iron Man to now saying I am Doctor Doom is a tale of success and mounting pressure. For over a decade, Robert Downey Jr. was the bedrock of Marvel Cinematic Empire. His R reactor hard powered not just a suit, but the entire franchise. When Stark snapped his fingers in Endgame, it was not just Thanos who turned to dust, it was also Marvel's dominance at the box office. Recent projects have struggled to capture the same magic, with critics and fans pointing to a decline in quality. The multiverse has emerged as Marvel's narrative swift army knife, offering a potential solution. By casting Robert as an alternate universe Doctor Doom, Marvel is not just bringing back a fan-favorite actor, they're attempting to recreate the lighting in a bottle that launched their cinematic universe. But this move is far from universally praised. Many fans see it as a desperate act to recapture past glory, a sign that Marvel has run out of new ideas and in a way is lazy. It clearly shows they have no confidence in their ability to go forward without the old cast. Others argue it's a simple play, with one supporter saying he'll be a great and fun variant of Doom, while leaving a long-term casting choice to after the soft reboot. As the debate rage on, one thing is clear. The stakes for Marvel have never been higher. This controversial recasting could either reignite the MCU fading spark or signal the beginning of its endgame. Now let's get into the real meat of this controversy. It's not just some fan fiction fever dream. This casting is a straight up challenge to the very core of the MCU identity. We're talking about Tony Stark, the genius billionaire, playboy philanthropist turned selfless hero. And on the other side of the equation, we got Victor Von Doom, or in this case, a variant of Tony Stark. As we know, Victor is a dictator, a master of both science and sorcery. Merging these two personalities is like trying to mix oil and water. It's a recipe for narrative chaos, and it's got the entire fandom in an uproar. Many are worried that this move would throw a bucket of acid on the emotional impact of Endgame. So remember, Stark's sacrifice the weight of this final act. Well, how can you embrace that finality when Downey's back potentially playing a villain? Some are even calling it sacrilege. Most recently, we saw it with Logan and seeing the character of Wolverine back again in our screen. The multiverse is already a tricky beast. Marvel's been playing with it, but this move could push it right into the overcomplication territory. We're talking about a multiversal Tony Stark becoming Doctor Doom. That's a level of fan fiction that even the most hardcore comic book readers might find hard to swallow. Yes, there's comics, I will discuss that in a moment. However, this Marvel Universe keeps on expanding and it feels pointless at this point. But there's a counterpoint to all of this. The multiverse is supposed to be a playground for wild, unpredictable story. Maybe, just maybe, this is the kind of bold, risky move Marvel needs. Secret Wars is all about chaos and destruction of the realities and maybe a Stark Doom hybrid could be the key to making that epic conflict 
happen. Marvel's really throwing it all in, and the stakes are really high. This is, in a way, a high wire act that could either save the MCU or send it back into a black hole. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. We know that Chris Evans actually returned recently in Deadpool 3 as a variant of Johnny Storm. So this is something that we're seeing here. The multiverse concept is Marvel's new plaything, but this move is pushing the boundaries of what fans consider acceptable. Some fans are even saying this feels like the dying grasp of the DCEU, with the Cavs returning and The Rock trying to control DC Studios and failing. One fan said, that's a harsh comparison, but it reflects the anxiety amongst the fan base. They're asking is Marvel just trying to recapture and recreate what worked before? This story we all been waiting to unfold and be on premiere, it will be here every step of the way. In Secret Wars, Strange helped Doom take the power and hold the universe together. Strange says something like, who else has the ego to be a god? That's a compelling thought and it suggests a potential path for this Doom. But how would it play out in the MCU? This is not just about one character, think about it. It's also about the ramifications of this move in Secret Wars, the ultimate clash of realities. What happened to the heroes we know and love when the multiverse is breaking itself apart? And let's be honest, it's not just a matter of swapping one actor for another. This is about bringing back a beloved actor, but in the guise or disguise of one of Marvel's most iconic villains. We're not talking about a simple multiple swap, it's about reimagining Tony Stark, a character that was the heart of the MCU rise. In two years, similar to Infinity War, we saw the character of Thanos hinted throughout many and multiple movies, so this is completely different. It's a move obviously that has fans like us questioning what's really going on at Marvel. Obviously this is not the first time that Marvel has tried to play with these concepts as comic book fans might remember Iron Maniac as an alternate universe Tony Stark who embraced Doom-like tag to battle the Fantastic Four. And then there was infamous Iron Man where Doctor Doom himself took on the mantle of Iron Man. These storylines offer a potential blueprint for this bold move, blending Stark's genius with Doom's power. And a lot of us are asking if Marvel just trying to recapture the good old days. Are they really running out of new ideas? Is this a smart play or a desperate gamble? The reality is this could go either way. It could reinvent the franchise and bring back the old MCU magic with the Russo brothers returning, hey, that's exciting, but it could also be the final nail in the coffin. Marvel's betting big on this new idea, and hey, this could be the start of an epic new era, or it could be the beginning of the end. Avengers Doomsday released in 2026, and hey, to be honest, I cannot wait to see what the Russo brothers are going to create. Marvel's got a lot, a lot on their shoulders. This move could either create a new golden age for the MCU or be a disaster. Are you going to do Secret Wars? Are you going to do the multiverse? Ignoring that there's no Iron Man and no Captain America in the multiverse doesn't make sense. But that's the video for today. My name is Christian from Beyond Premiere and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye everyone.